Yo, what's up, guys? It's Logic here with Hard Knock TV. I'm excited to discuss Bobby Tarantino 2, the turn up season, everything that's going on in my life, and of course, nothing but peace, love, and positivity. Track 10 is now called State of Emergency? Yes. Everybody know me now, but they don't really know me now. For me, that line is like, yeah, everybody knows me from like 1 800 or the like success of this or that, 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 but they don't really know me. Everybody knows Logic at the MTV Awards or at the Grammys or at the blah, 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 whatever. But they don't really know me. You know who really knows me is the Rat Pack and the fam and the fans and like these amazing people who have been there with me the whole time. But mainstream, they don't really know me. You know what I mean? But they're going to get to know me because of what I'm doing with Elton and what I'm doing with 1 800 and then every day having its success at radio and then coming with another joint and this other shit I got going and that person and oh my God. And then so it's going to turn into people going, wow, the plethora of music from Logic. Two Chains is on it. Yeah, Two Chains is on it. I met Two Chains years ago. He was eating shrimp pasta. And the CEO's office at Def Jam, and he was like nine foot seven. <laughs> that dude's tall as shit. He was really cool, really nice guy, super sweet. And uh, I reached out, and he sent me a fire ass verse. Pretty cool. That's funny you remember what he was eating. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> That's so random. Yeah, that is weird. <laughs> Track 11. What's up? Oh, yeah. Featuring Big Sean. You guys kind of teased this at the interview we did in New York. Yeah, yeah. New music coming. This is a fun one because we haven't worked together since uh, All Right which was like 2014. Although he made a little cameo with The Voice. Yeah, he made a cameo with The Voice on Incredible True Story. Mm -hmm. I've just been kind of waiting to just go off with him and have fun, and, and that was it. And it was very natural and organic, and uh, Six made the beat. I thought it was super dope. And I was like, yo, do you want to do it? He was like, I'm with it. And then he really killed it, man, and it was super fun. And I didn't have my verse yet. I just had the hook. And then he, he did his verse, and then I put a verse on it, and snapped and had fun with you, that one you spazzed yeah. on that verse yeah he called me too he was like because i was like yo you killed it bro i was like he killed it he fucking murdered it bro <laughs> and i called and i no, i texted him i was like man you killed it you now i gotta go off man da, da, da. and he called me he was like hey don't be trying to out rap me logic <laughs> all right just have fun and i was like okay all right cool and then i had fun is that a competition when you get a feature from somebody else it is totally a competition, but not like I would have thought it was like back in the day. You know what I mean? Like, hopefully if I ever, you know, some shit happens with like a Drake or a Kendrick or this or, you know, all these people I've wanted to work with for a long time. It's like I wouldn't overthink it like I would have before because I know who I am. I know what I'm capable of. I know what I'm going to do. And them being on a song or not is not going to dictate like, well, I got to go. I'm just going to do Logic. I'm going to do what Logic would do. You know, they, they might inspire me, hype me up a little bit, but I'm not like, okay, since his syllable was three times the fuck. I'm like, man, who gives a fuck? Like, let's just have a good time and just go go back and forth. And that's how I felt with Sean, too. You know, so uh, it's a lot different now. With confidence comes like uh, a different form of creativity as well, because you don't second guess yourself. You're not constantly. And it's not even like I was like, like, I've never, I've always had that in the back of my head, like, yo, millions of people are listening to you right now. Like, millions of people are going to hear this. Like, millions, like, it, it's back there, but I'm like, fuck those millions of people, man. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, do my homies like it? Are we tripping about it? Are we going crazy? Because if I like it and we like it, my fans are going to like it. If my fans like it, that's all that matters. That's why anytime anybody's like, oh, this shit's whack, or this ain't this, or blah, 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 it's like, well, motherfucker, I didn't make it for you. Why are you talking about it? Why are you listening to it? Why are you retweeting it? Why are you fucking giving it attention, motherfucker? Shit, just stop talking about it. Yo, oh, that's right, because my name gets you clicks. I forgot about that. So you talk all this shit about me, and you go even harder on me and talk about shit because then you know that the more harder you go, you might get a little bit of my fans coming in and trying to do this debate because you's a bitch and you can't actually do like real journalism or this or that or that. And that's how I felt my entire career about a shitload of fucking different right. people. And then rather than getting all angry, I'm like, it's all opinion. It yeah. don't matter. Like People know you have such a loyal fan base that they'll put extra yeah. harsh criticisms on purpose Yeah, yeah. because they know this is going to draw the Rat Pack to come in and defend you. It's all good. They just want to get their money, man. That's and that's crazy. fine. Get your money. It's all good. You get your, get but your money. But we know what it is. Yeah. Uh, that's why there's journalists like you who actually care, man. And it's like, yeah, we're boys, and I'm sure there's some bias in you, just like with me, you know what I mean? But it's like, I really respect you, man. Like, you respect what I do, and you take the time. Like, yo, you got fucking all these, like, papers with questions and shit behind the camera. Like, y'all don't see this. Like, 
you know, there's not a lot of people that even like take the time. I can't tell you how many times the same people who shit on me got an album title wrong or mispronounced my name or like, like seriously, like it's really crazy. It's it's super funny. I remember somebody, I forget who it was, but somebody was like, like when I was a double XL freshman, it was like, who the fuck is Luke or fucking say, like mis, mispronounced my name? And I was like, damn, ouch, <laughs> that shit hurts. So it's like, it's just, man. People will try to take anything you do and like and twist it. There's probably some journalist watching this shit right now who's gonna be like, he's talking about me or he's talking about this or he's. It's like I'm not. Ta- I'm talking about everybody, right. you know. And if you feel he's talking about you, he probably is. Yeah, it's like yo, that's another thing. Anybody who's watching this video, no matter where you are, whether you just talk on Twitter and you're like some fan or or whatever, it's like if you feel like I'm talking about you then you're probably doing something wrong or you're like a hater or you and you know it like deep down. Ooh, make sure you put that in there. <laughs> Our friendship started from that. I think yeah. we both respect the craft. Yeah, for like, sure. We both respect the culture and I think you respect the craft of rapping and I respect the craft of journalism. And we respect each other. I and respect that-, that you take the time to actually listen and hear what I'm talking about because, you know, I used to do interviews. Shit, I still do interviews and motherfuckers don't listen to my music. So 1-800 is like, oh my God, fuck. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Okay, like I get it. It's I'm here. You're gonna use me. You're using me. I'm kind of me technically using you. I'm on right. your show because I want people to. I want to be able to talk about my message and much more than this fucking you know whatever you want to talk about right now. So it's like, yeah, it's just like it's kind of it's kind of the game you play at the same time. But I would never allow that to like jeopardize. That's why you know stuff like this is always the 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 best. It's always the most important because another thing is like, not that I don't watch what I say. It's just I can be as honest as I want with you because you're not going to twist my words in the edit. Right. You're going to let it bleed out. And when I'm like, well, when I'm like, you know, fuck anybody talking shit about me. But I don't mean like in specific. I just mean that. And then you allow me to explain because it'd be like, fuck anybody talking shit about me. And then there's like all these people talking shit about me. And then so they post it and then we'll try to like tag one person in specific. And then it beca- and then it's like, no. That's why I don't do a lot of interviews, man. So thank you. I always appreciate you taking the time. Yeah. From yeah. from the beginning to to now, it's been Thanks. a fun ride. It's been hell of a ride up. <laughs> it's been dope, man. It's exciting. What's next? Do you want to talk about it? I mean, I know you're t- you're working on a million and one projects. Do you yeah, want to talk about stuff. novels, movies, any of that stuff? Yeah, or? I'm excited for I'm, I'm excited for the novel. Um, I'd like it to come out this year. I gotta see because there's there's some really uh, unique. Uh, in different stuff that I'm doing associated with it because it's logic, man. It's Bobby Hall. It's like I, I can't just do something, a basic ass. Well, I'm not just going to release a book. I'm going to release a book and it's going to have this and do this whole thing, be interactive. And like it's I'm going to make it super, super cool, you know, working on this film. I'm excited to, to start shooting for that and uh, some other stuff in TV. And yeah, I mean, I got so much going on and I'm really excited. But the biggest thing is, is I'm the healthiest I've ever been in my life. I'm the most secure with myself that I've ever been in my life. Um, I'm really happy. You know, I'm really happy, even happier than I've ever been. Um, and I'm really focused on on me for once. For the first time in my life, I'm really focused on Bobby, just me, and my own uh, internal happiness and my balance, to, to balance myself. I work so much. And, you know, I was like, yeah, I don't fuck with nobody and I got nobody in my circle, but I'm, I'm excited to, to make a few new friends and, 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 uh, and just just live life and, and enjoy myself. I've sacrificed my entire 20s uh, for monetary gain and, you know, success and, and fame or notoriety or whatever. And now that I have that, um, I'm not going to sacrifice anything now. I'm just going to make everything about experiences, you know. That's why I only have one sports car and Rolex because I want to spend my money on experiences. But, I mean, you know, I might get some more shit <laughs> at some point. I've been looking at a McLaren that's wild, right? I know, right, shit. Right. But like, you know, Christmas present or something. That's another thing. I don't just go out and get everything I want all the time. Like, I waited forever to get this shit. Ching. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. But yeah. <laughs> I was just trying to fuck with you like you did with me in New York. Oh, yeah. Is it done now? Are you done? What did you say? Are you done? With what? Oh, Are me? You done? Fuck you, man. <laughs> Are you done? I'm a funny guy. Why are you acting this way? Are you good? Are you good?